preserving hallowed ground in Virginia, particularly African-American cemeteries. The topic is now getting into the national spotlight. Maggie Marshall shows us the action being taken. Just off of one sidewalk at University of Richmond lays patchy grass, dirt, and branches. Well, when you look and see that, it just looks like a park setting. Marked off by a chain post and sign shows its real purpose. It's an African-American burial ground for enslaved people. It doesn't look like it's a, a sacred place. Places like this and just down the road at Evergreen Cemetery is why Virginia Congressman Donald McKetchen is not getting involved. The residue of uh, slavery is the residue of Jim Crow. Um, it's the residue of... Uh, of of the racist uh, environment that this nation was founded on. Because uh, we have done a very good job in this country of preserving a portion of history. Um, we've done a poor job of preserving all of history. McEtchen is now introducing a federal bipartisan bill. It'll give the National Park Service $3 million a year to allocate. The funds will go specifically to organizations preserving African-American grave sites. Well, look, we're turning the page. We're doing better. And uh, this is part of our effort to make this a more perfect union. This effort is being met by years long efforts here in Virginia. There is a proposal in the state budget to help the cause, but that's not final. Under the plan, this will give the House and the Senate $5 million to allocate towards the cause. This work, I think, is a, a, a good companion to the work that's happening at the federal level. That potential for further funding, they hope, will preserve and protect. Another step toward dismantling systemic racism that for far too long served as an albatross <laughs> around the neck of enslaved Africans. Here at the University of Richmond, they're doing more to memorialize this piece of land. They actually didn't know it was a burial site until 2019. The Virginia Congressman hopes that the bill that he's bringing will land on the president's desk by the end of the year. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.